Interview and job search strategies at work. Episode 22. I'm here in Walmart actually right now getting my oil changed. And so the, the, the one thing I did do is I, I just tweeted them and asked them, I said, um, I was just curious if they, on their app, if they have a uh, section where um, you're, you're in Walmart, right, let's say, and, and you want to know if you have availability for an oil change. So what you can do is, would be nice if you had an app, I don't know if they have it and haven't looked at their app, to where you would know, okay, there's availability for an oil change for that particular day. That way you, you don't have to, you can say, okay, um, they don't have oil change in this area, but they might have oil change availability, say maybe a couple miles away or whatever. And, and you would know that uh, because you would just go on their app and they would, oh, okay, you have availability. So as I'm, as I'm walking through Walmart here, um, the one thing I did notice that there's, just, if you, for instance, you want to you be an expert at you know, a job or something like that, they have electronics department. Um, the kind of things that they sell. So think of it this way. You, you know, if you're trying to find a J-O-B, um, they'll, they'll hire you. I mean, you have to go through a process or whatever, but that's a good start. So for instance, Let's say you get, you get hired on at Walmart, right? And I'm not sure their manager style. I'm not sure what they, how they work, but at any rate, you can literally become like an expert in, uh, in certain departments, maybe certain food products, um, certain, um, like let's say your produce. Everybody loves produce, right? So what you can do is you can, you can go to Walmart and you can um, work in a, like a produce section and just, and just know what, what products push, right? And then if you want to add value, maybe you can review them, you know, after, uh, after hours or whatever, you know, that's the thing right there. So, so why is this important? Why am I even talking about this, right? So imagine you have 4,000 plus stores, Walmart stores. Now, the, everybody that comes in the store, that is a th this data, right? Each buying habits, each uh, person's um, spending habits. That's the same thing as buying habits. They all have a, a unique perspective on uh, on what they what they think about. So think of it if you can analyze the same way as IT. Think of Walmart as like a, um, well, it's a marketplace, like Amazon, Walmart marketplace. Customers come in, customers go out. So one thing that when you're in IT that you're doing also is you're, you're serving customers. Your, uh, your bottom line is, is based on you're helping the customer. So um, Walmart's a, a good example of an entry-level job to get into if you're doing IT because you're gonna get to just talk to face-to-face -to -face, um, hundreds of people, different areas, um, different walks of life, uh, different aspects, how they view things. And that's that's beneficial for you and your future endeavors, for your future jobs. Also, they're a, they're a pretty large company. They're a, they're a respected company of credibility. Um, that other companies may or may not have, and and they're pretty much all the they're all the same. And if you go into one, uh, you can get into the others. I I think I heard somewhere that some of the uh, some of the managers. So you have like a store manager. I know that they have, and then you have like um, I think it's CSM's customer service manager, I believe, or each department, and so or I guess they're like section managers, basically. So I think I heard somewhere where the section managers in Walmart make like 50K, but they work, um, you know, 60 plus hours a week, something like that. And I, I think, you know, you, you can either look at Walmart as like a low level job, like, oh, that's just like a, uh, you know, like a, a low-level job, like, oh, throwaway job, right? 
or you can look at it like, okay, it's something to build uh, to build upon for your future. Uh, I have a relative actually who's worked at Walmart, I think 10 plus years now. And I, I know the people that work at Walmart for 20 years, they get a, I wanna say it's a 10% discount, something like that, whenever they retire from Walmart. And I know they have their own type of pension or um, you pay into something, you know. So here's, here's why Walmart's a good job, right? So uh, another example, right? Let's say you're in, oh gosh, well, you're in the produce section. No, probably not because, well, yeah, good example. Everybody needs produce. Everybody needs produce. So you're in the produce section and you learn the, uh, based on your, your supply and demand, you understand the buying habits of certain people and, and how they, um, what they buy on certain days. And then so you have that kind of insider knowledge basically, right? Almost like a marketing knowledge whenever you, uh, so you could basically go to that vendor or that company that provides that, that service. And you could basically break it down for them from a marketing standpoint and say, oh, I understand the, your product. I understand how many people buy it in this certain demographic area and how many products I push. And if, if, I'm, if I move the product to like a different location, it's gonna sell more or less. And, and that's an example of a marketing um, technique there that you would learn by working somewhere. And the benefit you get also, right, so you could also establish a, a direct like one-to-one -one, um, conversation or relationship with the vendor that sells the product. Uh, I'm actually moving now into the, I guess, <laughs> dog food aisle. And <laughs> literally, like there's so many things. So like, for instance, y you know, you could tweet or I guess blog about a certain product, you know, Fancy Feast or what is this? Uh, I know I've seen a lot of commercials for that. Indoor Complete, right? Peak, I guess is an example. Purina One, IMS basically. And you know, you could establish yourself as an expert basically if you wanted to in that field, you know, based on the how many people buy what. Right now, for instance, I'm, I'm looking in Walmart and I'm looking at the bottom shelf and they're, they're bare, but, and they're bare, but there's not a lot there. So that tells me that people buy that product the most. They don't buy the smaller one. If they buy the smaller one, they have a smaller cat or a smaller dog, I think. Whereas if they buy the bigger one at the bottom, they have a, um, a larger, larger animal. Um, so that's it. okay. Most of the people that come here and buy products here, they have bigger dogs or they have bigger. Well, I don't think there's a bigger cat. If you have a pretty big cat, that that's kind of. I think, that was a page for my my car, so I'm gonna go and uh, get that and go back home. So thanks for viewing this uh, little short little uh, podcast. Have a great day.